as we get moving towards the Mario Kart mail-in tournament, we are well, going to get a sneak peek at some of the cars we're going to see racing in that tournament. Thank you to everybody who submitted. I will remind you there are more spots left, about 20 of them remaining. So please, please, please go to the Races and Fun Facebook page and get submitting if you have not already. Another chance to maybe get a winning car if things did not work out too well in that first mail-in tournament for your racer. Let me get a look at the first submission here. QT Racing with a Donkey Kong in a standard cart and a Luigi in a pipe frame. An interesting combination. We know that all these different models of Mario Karts tend to have different... Uh, well, different, different skills, I guess, or different advantages. Um, standard cart being a little bit shorter and a little faster, a little more control. Something like the pipe frame, a little faster on the straights. A little better in jumps. It's it's all relative to what you picked here. Here's number 22, Team Gooey. A nice set of two here. And this time, I believe we got a, a Diddy Kong and a Yoshi painted in teal tie-dye <laughs> or covered in goo. I think that's the idea there. Uh, that's really, it's really fascinating. Similar pipe frame vehicles. So a lot of opting for the pipe frame so far. We'll see if we see any huh, more uh, eh, weirder models like a bad wagon or something. I'm not expecting many of those. Triple Landlocked Diecast Racing. Wow. What a, what a name. Triple Landlocked. Two more pipe frames. Mario and Diddy Kong. Are they, is this like tried and tested? Is the pipe frame the best racer? I mean, I, if I'm honest, I always thought it was more the sports coupe. Maybe the standard card in certain situations. There's orange and red there. Beautiful, beautiful colors on those pipe frames. Triple landlock diecast racing. <laughs> it's funny to say out loud. What a great name. It's gotten me intrigued. Maybe we'll check it out. Um, so more pipe frames. You're coming in a... What, is that like a automatic air pump box? Dear Brandon, who used... Um, we use paint, but nothing else. Lane and Reina are so excited to have cars in the tournament. Lane and Reina, or Laney? Lane and Reina. I'm excited to see your vehicles. Your paint looks nice. We have a, a, a Mach 8. That's another car I'm expecting. And I, I, what is that one? Wild Wing. That's right. Wild Wing for Mario. So, Wild Wing I know is always a decent model. Mach 8 in certain situations really shines. Sports Coupe. We haven't seen one of those yet. Oh, this is great. Thanks for the submission, Bethany. The Harsh Family, number 18 here. Ah, so exciting to see all of y'all's submissions and get to work up to this moment. This one, I love the boxes you guys submit in this time in the, a children's camera box. Keep that up. Make the, make that something. The, the choice of container. Get as wild as you can with it, actually. I think it's funny. Little children's, pink little children's camera. Harsh Family, another pipe frame and for Mario. And then, oh, do we have a sports coupe? Yes, we got a sports coupe. And it's a Donkey Kong in a sports coupe. I expect that's going to be... Um, a force to be reckoned with. Look out. Thank you to the Harsh family and your digital kids camera or pink camera or something like that. I'm trying to recall other models I remember excelling. I think we're just going to have to wait and see. I, I know the sports coupe and the standard card always stand out. And the pipe frame and the Mach 8. Those are the four I really lean on. Wild Wing and P-Wing, also decent, but when you get to the Bad Wagon or something like that, I mean, it's not the same. Standard Cart, this is, a, I believe, a Tanuki Mario. Painted well. Mini Mafia. Yeah, a little Mini Mafia stamp there on the front. <laughs> How beautiful. Wario painted up all red in a B-Dasher. How did I forget the B-Dasher? That's right, the B-Dasher, another, uh, one of the top five models, like the four I mentioned plus the B-Dasher. Those would be the, the top five that I would feel are models I've seen consistently perform. And again, that'd be standard cart, sports coupe, 
Pipe Frame, Mach 8, and B Dasher. Those stand out to me. Maybe I'm missing one. Maybe I'm saying one out of turn. Who knows? Wario in a Mach 8. You can see these models continue to show up frequently, but the Pipe Frame is over and over abundant and majority. Charles Riley, number 24. Thanks for submitting. Just a normal box this time. A straight up brown cardboard box. And we'll stamp his vehicles, move on here. Aaron Brown, submission two, number two. And a usual priority mailbox, giving priority to Toy Racing, who wouldn't? Dry Bones and a B-Dasher, what a good combo. And we got a Koopa Troopa in a Mach 8, what do I think about that? I don't know, it's, it's an interesting choice. Aaron Brown, entry number two. Get excited, and it is, isn't it nice that as a submitter this time you get to submit two cars because even if your Koopa Trooper in the Mach 8 comes out there and just falls off the track a few times you got your dry bones you got your dry bones in the B Dasher to keep pulling things along Weston number nine we love watching your channel as a family cheering on our favorite carts cars your channel is great thank you thank you Weston for the compliment two standard carts Donkey Kong and Luigi not many alterations maybe some lube on there I'd hope and that is a solid choice and depending on the kind of track that we're gonna get and we don't know yet we don't know of the track yet uh, well, actually we did we did have that sneak peek um, actually I remember the sneak peek now <laughs> now that I'm thinking of it we literally put that up on the channel right before the other mail in tournament so we do know the track and so it, it's still hard to tell if a standard card is gonna be the one I think I remember in that video standard cards performing pretty well circuit special there's another one I feel like that one is more of on the wild wing P wing tier though we have a wild wing in there as well Luigi Mario but uh, we could be surprised. Thank you, Justin. Number 15. Oh, these submissions are so fun to see. Scott Ferguson. I almost said Ferguson, but I read carefully. Oh, it's just his try again, man. I remember you from the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, by the way, join. But it's good to see you, man. You've uh, said many of things in the server, and that's... Good to hear. There's a, well, yeah. there's a cart without a rider. I don't, I don't. Okay. And we have a uh, Toadat uh, right in, the, I think in the birthday, the birthday. Ooh, I'm, I'm blanking on that. Birthday, birthday special, birthday cake. Toadat. That car is not. That model is not used often. Let's just say that. The, the cart without the rider though. I don't, I don't really know. I, I, I don't know what to make of it. Bob Om painted, ooh, painted as he's about to explode, which I think is beautiful. EP videos, decaled so well. Oh, these look beautiful. In B dashers, baby Luigi in black. Bob Om on the close to the explosion range, painted all red, and the decaling on the front with the EP is just beautiful. Check out EP Racing, EP videos, honestly, and that sticker. I might want one of those stickers. Maybe send one my way. Duke Edinger, Edding, Edinger. And he's got a note there, cutting in a nice soft package. Pipe frame, Diddy Kong, we've seen that a lot already. B Dasher, Baby Mario, and that's a combo. Smart pick with the B Dasher, Baby Mario. We've seen that do quite wonderful things before. I wonder how the paint, the heavy painting, will affect these vehicles, if at all. I believe, by the way, this tournament will run the same. I think the winner will get all the all the cars who didn't win, and we'll keep the winning one for the, the lore of it. And he was number one, by the way. Duke was number one submission. Priority Mailbox, MQH Racing. Number 21, and we I'm trying to figure them out by just looking at them. There's Luigi there. Redline Derby Racing. I think that's a cool name. Shy Guy in the B Dasher. There you go. That's a pick. And Luigi to Mach 8. You you listen. You listen well during the past videos. I've screamed the praises of both, and both have performed. And you knew to submit. Well thought out. I hope for you the best. 
Josh Sr. and Josh Jr. Maybe a father and son bonding experience here, which is, I think is, I think is wonderful. In the package is still, we got a Shy Guy and a B Dasher, so another contender there. And Donkey Kong in the standard card, which we've seen a bunch, and I'm, I'm not sure of that. Because I don't remember a Donkey Kong in a standard card being, like, in the past, a, a noticeably high-performing car. Or even, I don't even remember seeing one in a long time. So, I don't know, maybe you guys know something I don't. I usually would go Donkey Kong Sports Coupe, maybe they're harder to find. I don't really know how it all works. But I know that we're seeing that submission a lot, so interesting. Sam Hall, number 19, cutting into the box here. What are we going to take out? Unwrapping through the labyrinth of bubble wrap and the box and more bubble wrap, but we have a Yoshi. <laughs> Is that Firestone like tattooed on his nose? Luigi and Amake, good choice there. I like the decal in the front representing, uh, I think that's DRT, DRT3K Racing, <laughs> which I remember I stumbled over the pronunciation in the past. And Yoshi with Firestone right across the nose, also in a Mach 8. Is that modified a little bit? I don't know. Looks pretty good. And we're getting to our last few submissions here. Arlo Racing. I know it's not RLO. I am. I apologize now in retrospect. Arlo Racing, Arlo Racing, number six. I'm gonna keep saying it, Arlo, Arlo, Arlo. There you have it. Oh, wow, beautiful, beautiful paint job on this, uh, I believe this is a P-Wing. Oh my God. And and the Mach 8 as well. So Yoshi in a Mach 8, uh, Peach in a P-Wing, all painted a little bit. Even the hair, I mean, just the, the, the design on the cars with the gradient, I mean, that's just amazing. I don't even know how, to, how you do that. That's <laughs> low she. I like that. Very good. Thank you for the submission, Arlo. And that will bring us to the end here of the submissions. Wow, beautiful set of racers. We have a few more spots. Keep the submissions coming. Paint, if you may. One of these might be the winner of the Mario Kart Maryland tournament. And I'm excited to see how that turns out. We'll keep it going. We also, I, I might just drop this information here so for anyone who stuck around to maybe hear it, but we, we have something else in the works for this summer. We have another new idea, and if you're in the Discord, you might get some, some uh, wind of it because we might want some audience opinion or fan opinion on some ideas and some thoughts and everything, but uh, we have a... Uh, we're working on something in the background that might be an interesting new idea for the channel. So I'll throw that sneak peek out there. Thanks for watching. If you watched this far, subscribe to the channel. More mail-in videos to come, more unboxings to come, and more to come here on Races and Fun.